I've always believed that jiu-jitsu actually doesn't change people's personalities. Um, I know there's a, um, a widespread belief in the jiu-jitsu community that uh, jiu-jitsu changes lives or improves lives or in some cases saves lives. Yeah, I've seen cases where people were um, full-out addicts in very self-destructive ways and their lives did improve through jiu-jitsu, I've seen that. Um, but as a general pattern, I actually don't think that jiu-jitsu changes your personality that much. I think um, who you are when you walk in will tend to be accentuated by jiu-jitsu. If you're a nice person, when you walk in the door, Jiu-Jitsu will make you a nicer person. But if you're an asshole and you walk in through the door, Jiu-Jitsu will make you more of an asshole because it'll give you more power. Essentially what Jiu-Jitsu does, it gives you power. It gives you a, a physical power in a one-on-one, -on -one, unarmed situation that most people don't have access to. So if you're a good person, that power will enable you to become a better person. You can help others. You can save someone in an emergency situation. But if you're an asshole, it'll make you a better bully, a worse criminal, a more dangerous adversary. Um, so really what you did to is it, it's a means of giving people power in a one-on-one -on -one unarmed situation. Okay, I don't care how good you do. If ten guys attack you, you're going to get your ass kicked. If a guy with a knife stabs you, you're going to die like everybody else. So, jiu-jitsu doesn't really help much in an armed situation or in a, a mass attack situation. But then nothing else does either. But you know in a one-on-one -on -one unarmed situation, Jiu-Jitsu was a legitimate means of increasing someone's physical power over other human beings, at least one other human being. And so, as I said, it will tend to accentuate who you already are. If you're a good person, it'll make you a better person. If you're a bad person, it'll make you a worse one. That's my general take on, on Jiu-Jitsu and people's character. I have seen cases where people came in as unpleasant people and they learned to muffle that, at least in the academy. Because you can't be an asshole in a room where everyone can kick your ass. Okay, <laughs> it just doesn't work. You either gotta leave the gym, which a lot of people do, or you've gotta reform yourself, at least in the confines of the gym. But I've always believed people like that once they leave the academy, you'll see the real person come back out and the real person will emerge. That's why you'll often see shocking accounts of Jiu-Jitsu people who you thought were a nice guy doing terrible things outside of the gym. come into the gym with our own personal baggage, our own personal problems, our good points and our bad points. And I think what Jiu-Jitsu does, it tends to heighten those. Jiu-Jitsu, as I said, is a form of power. Power doesn't corrupt, it reveals who you really are. And um, it doesn't give crushing power, you know, it doesn't give power like, you know, like an assault rifle gives you <laughs> much more power than any Jiu-Jitsu does. Um, 
but it does to some extent give you power. And as I said, power will reveal who you really are. It doesn't corrupt you. A good person, as I said, will become a better person with power. You'll have more opportunities to, to help, to be a beneficent person. But if you've got some kind of dark side to your character, Jiu-Jitsu will make you darker. Hello everyone, I'm just going to do a quick product review here on Invisib Sport Pre-Workout Coffee. Now it's a friend of mine that started this company and he recently sent me a huge box of this coffee to try to see what I think. So over the years I have tried, um, experimented with a lot of different pre-workouts and in my experience they give you good energy at the time, it's always followed by a huge crash afterwards. And also I seem to get a stomach upset off many of these products and that's probably because a lot of them do contain artificial sweeteners. Um, but this coffee doesn't have any artificial ingredients at all. I would never endorse a product that actually does. I think those kind of ingredients are terrible for you. Uh, this coffee does contain vitamin B3. It's got B6, it also has B12. I know B12 is very important for energy production. It helps to prevent fatigue. It also contains beta alanine in. It's got taurine, you'll find taurine is inside most energy drinks and that seems to prolong the effects of caffeine. Uh, it also contains MCT powder. Now, MCT powder is a good source of healthy fats. And lastly, it contains coconut water powder, um, which contains many of the essential electrolytes like sodium, magnesium, potassium. If you're training and sweating all the time, it's very important that you replace those electrolytes. Um, so if you're interested in trying this, I do recommend it. You can click the link below in the YouTube description and you can buy on Amazon.com.